front of the camera? All right. Yeah. <laughs> well, welcome to. Well, so so the scoreboard clock doesn't um isn't isn't on yet. Um, so I haven't been able to crop that. That's what I've been struggling with. Um, all right. Welcome to uh, Bojangles Stadium at Bluff Road. Uh, Gamecocks hosting the Bulls. The Bulls. We got Alex here. Hello. It's hey. Good to be back. Yeah. yeah good, good to be back here. So they had what a break for spring? Well, no. A trip to Virginia and then a break for spring break. So it's been a couple weeks. Both since. teams have not played since February 24th. Okay. So. Wow. Yeah, is that three weeks? Is the, those two games in, in Virginia were the last two for yes. Gamecocks? Yes. Okay. Well, uh, two. Lost two, a heartbreaker. Losses, but, lost know. a heartbreaker to Virginia Tech in overtime, and then uh, lost to the seventh ranked Liberty Flames. I think it was 11. Yeah. Eight. It was. Yeah. Two close losses. Obviously, lost to Virginia Tech yeah. by one. Who is two. now fourth? And then. Yeah, two close road losses um, to good teams. That's correct. Yeah. They don't lose anything, but. So do you want me to um, Yeah, yeah, go ahead and. All right, so from right to left for the Game Cox, it's Jack Naughton. Number 92, that's Matthew Meyer. 71, John Gerald. Number 44 for the Game Cox is Carson Healy. Number 95, Coleman Glazer. Number 2, Anthony Spano. Number 10, 27. And 17. Ten's Theodore Russell. 27 is Anthony Romano. And number, I think it said two is Anthony Spano. In goal for the Gamecocks. He's been in goal every single game for South Carolina. It is Petrush, Alex Petrush. On faceoff, I would imagine that's Will Frith. And that is one of the strengths of the Bulls you see early. Oh, they have a great faceoff. No, uh, it's not Frith, you're yeah. right. That was Coleman Glazer doing face-off duties for South Carolina. Quick note for South Florida, they are 2-5 and five so far in the season. Haven't played a region game. South Carolina is 1-0 in the region. However, they have not played a top 25 team. They get their first dose of that this season, playing the number ninth ranked Gamecocks. And that's an over and back. South Carolina takes control. Spano loses it right away. He'll eventually pick up the ground ball. He should get it across the line and Gamecocks will look to penetrate the attack zone and start this possession for, uh, I think since the last time, the shot clock is on our right. We actually can't see it, so we have to use kind of context clues of when the shot <laughs> clock's winding down. Yeah, <laughs> and, and I don't have the um, game clock set up yet. It's uh, just hit it's the. It's not my fault. It's under 14 minutes, <laughs> so we'll we'll get those technical difficulties fixed. Like a shot, no. Lotto's gonna take a shot left side. Egan decides to pass it up. Gamecocks currently have it in the X. Is Egan the leading scorer? I think so. I can check my notes real quick. While wow, they pass it around, Egan has 16 goals, which does put him at first in the Gamecock. Yeah. Rotation, second, number zero, Casey Hurley. South Carolina, a good offensive squad. Now shot, got it! Right on cue, a good offensive squad, Jack Naughton. So I think that's his first goal of the season. Or never mind. No, he's Ra not. <laughs> Wrong player. <laughs> Seventh goal of the season for Naughton. <laughs> Gamecocks score an early one there, one nothing. And as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by Naughton. <laughs> South Carolina scores, I think it's around a little over 11 points per game. So this South Florida team lets up around 10. And uh, South Florida does not score many, around 7-ish. It was like the 7.4 mark. So Bulls going to have to play defense and get some offense in. Looks like a violation against the Bulls. South Carolina takes it. Do you see 99 over there on the sideline? Um, it's a lot of, lot of jerseys to look at. I'll let you know let you know a little, little later, Jeff. But uh, potentially, yeah, first... Uh, those who are joining us maybe for the first time is the Gamecocks face-off specialist. He's a decorated player for this South Carolina cross team. And how decorated, you may ask? Well, he was all-conference first team last year and a second team All-American for the MCLA. Or MECLA. MCLA. Uh, MCLA, yeah. You, you got no. it right. Don't double guess. Yeah, don't, don't doubt don't, yourself. Don't, don't doubt myself. <laughs> Game
Gamecocks looking to return to action here at home. It's been a long road trip. Slap shot, right side goes to the right. Gamecocks give chase, they'll keep it. Did you say there's a, we go to Clemson? Um, yes, we do go to Clemson in the coming weeks. Oh, man. That would be kind of fun. I have to see what what's going on with Flora. Yeah, I think it's. I think we have another sporting event for Flora, but that's completely. Oh, is it? Okay. And there is, but I just don't know. It's either lacrosse or baseball. I haven't figured out what. A lot of pushing and shoving. No flag comes out, and the Bulls get it, and they'll clear it almost as quickly as that. Jack Lenz loses it. Long outlet pass gets away from the Gamecocks, but should be a ground ball picked up, and it is hard hit. On Lomble, but Lomble keeps it. Right side dodging. May shoot. You'll pass across to a cutting man. It's going to be stopped and eaten up by the Bulls' defense. Gamecocks trying to make life miserable for the Bulls to clear it, but Lenz, great job getting that across. No, excuse me, that's not Lenz. That's Frey for the Bulls. 17-11 looking like each other. South Florida, it's really only their second possession. They had one very quickly just a second ago as we've hit around the 11.30 mark since the scoreboard's not up to date. Carolina does lead one to nothing if you're just joining us off of a goal from Jack Naughton, his seventh of the year. Bulls have it in the X. Gamecocks trying to fight them off. Trying for a wraparound, great defense. Highlighted them in that game against Georgia, led by defensive assistant Finn Landy. As you can see him and maybe at the end of the bench for the Gamecocks in the red and black over there. Ooh, an errant pass gonna go out on South Florida. And the Gamecock defense holds. There was, oh, there was a flag down. Oh, there is a. <laughs> like, why isn't anyone playing? You, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta point those out to me, Jeff. I'm <laughs> looking at the offense. Yeah. I'm still just thinking about the clock when not being on. <laughs> hey, it's okay. Hurts. So man up for the Bulls for about a minute, I think they said. That clock is at 10.52, so at the 9.52 mark, South Carolina will be even. South Florida will look to knock things up at one in the duration of that one minute. So after a rainy, kind of a rainy middle of the day, Jeff, it's kind of yeah. cleared up here. Yeah, the field doesn't look too bad. I mean, it's wet, but... No, we were exchanging texts earlier today trying to figure out what this game holds, and a great defensive play from the Gamecocks. However, it's a picked up by the Bulls, number 16. That's Jake Schmidt. Now Zern loses it. Gamecocks fighting for it, and Charlie King picks it up, but he gets rocked. As the ball's just been thrown around the diamond, as one may say, and the Gamecocks eventually falls into the hands Romano has it, and he'll look up. Theo Russell, the All-American from last year, clears it. Gamecocks will go back on the offense, a man down for around the next 10 seconds. Wait, it's Theo Russell? Theo Russell, or Theodore Theo. Teddy. Teddy, that yeah. also works. <laughs> they, don't put, they don't put nicknames on there, Jeff. No, I know, I know. I, I think the, because they, they posted on Instagram too. Where okay. would you get a uh, MCLA website? Yeah. Yeah. I think Instagram has him as Teddy. I'll keep that in mind. I'll call him Teddy from now on if yeah. that's wrong. Someone can correct me in the comments. Gamecocks. Thought they're going to dodge to the left, eventually eat that attempt. It'd be funny if I'm just totally making that up. You, you could be I'm, make pretty, I'm pretty sure I got it. <laughs> yeah, I trust you. You've done, I think, four games now? Is your fourth or fifth? <sighs> I don't even know. Everything runs together. But, um,. <laughs> So Georgia, Florida State. Um, uh, 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 wait, there's another one. Ooh. Uh, I do not remember. Yeah, there's nothing. It's the fourth one. Shot clock winding down. Shot bounces right. Thrown out. Gamecocks give chase. They'll keep it. Collins Young missed to the right. The freshman. Been solid for the Gamecocks. Five goals. There's a shot eaten up by the Bulls. And they'll have a nice clear. Oh, well, thought it was going to be a nice clear, but he dropped it and eventually gets it out. It's Remedos, Brandon Remedos, and a timeout there from the Bulls. 8.48, I want to say, left to go in this first quarter. Gamecocks lead up 1-0 off a goal from Jack Naughton. Oh, we can watch that again. Oh, we can. I did, I did show the replay, but let's do it again. 
There you go. Oh, it's over here. Sorry. Uh, I, 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 you, you're hiding the replay from me, Jeff, but a beautiful. Yeah, good rip. So, no, but it's been a lot of, it's, it's going to be back here. I think it's been a, like over two months since I've been here at Bojangle Stadium. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> um, all right. So, right now they're just watching the clock. Uh, I got to try to crop this. <laughs> Jeff doing his uh, great. This man is the uh, brains behind every stream. There's a reason he's been doing Flora Sports for, what is it now, seven, eight years? Yeah. Gee. I'm also the idiot behind every failed stream. So. Well, I mean. But, but you know, like. Just give and take and everything. You can't get a great stream unless you fail a bunch of times. So. Oh, 100%. Just listen to my, just listen to my uh, play by play calls, you know? <laughs> you eventually get greatness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At some point, somebody's got to say something smart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Broken clocks right twice a day. So just, just exactly it. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, I forgot to turn on the filter for that. Uh, do I have time? Uh, no. Dang. Oh, wait. You I got are it. currently about to run out of time. I hate to say it. Oh, I've actually messed up anyways. Well. I think I'm using a, a green filter. No, it's, I think it's, oh, gee, I don't know. It looks fine, Jeff. This is fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's just barely showing up. Well. Since we uh, have a little break here, first time these two teams have locked up since 2015. However, the Gamecocks, well, that's one they want to look back on. The Bulls really don't. Uh, Gamecock win a 10-2, and then the last time before that, uh, Bulls don't want to remember that one either. It was a 19-point loss for South Florida as they are 0-2 against South Carolina, but it's been around nine years since these two teams have matched up together or as the Bulls have seen Gamecock red. Nice shot, but Petrush gets right in front of that one. Looked like Ian Zern, the sophomore attackman, tried to put that one home. He has 12 goals for the Bulls, and now the Gamecocks quickly clear it. Yeah, I mean, that is that is a long time. Yeah, so you think, well, programs can develop. But I mean, both, both programs can develop because South Carolina's won two national championships so since then. Exactly. The two national championships South Carolina has in lacrosse came in 2019 and 2022. And a big shot to the Gamecock hockey team. Bringing home a national championship mm -hmm. last week. Club teams for the South Carolina Gamecock University, whatever you want to call them. They're working well recently, Gamecock lacrosse national championship. Is any of that streamed? Well, I mean, obviously the championships yes. probably um, are. But, but they are streamed, actually. Do they actually. have their, their games streamed? They are streamed, actually. So SGTV runs those streams. That's the uh, student broadcasting okay. channel for the university. Now going to be a rip to the right side. Got it again. Beautiful ball, top shelf. Number 16, Drew LaBelle. The junior from my hometown of Greenville, South Carolina, puts one home for his second goal of the year, and South Carolina leads 2 to nothing. 7.26 to play. So what it looks like, Jeff, as we kind of touched on it a little bit, a lot of the main men for the Gamecocks are not really playing tonight. You know, that, def that attack team led yeah. by Johnny Stanton, he's not out there right oh, now. Stanton's not, okay. No, uh, Russell, the All-American, is there. And Firth, the, uh, one of the first-team All-Conference, he's not doing the face-offs duty today. And going to be a win from South Florida. Hey, wait, is it Firth or Frith? I think it's Frith. <laughs> I think it's Frith. Yeah. But uh, that was Thomas Shetty who won it in a... Trying to Jeez. save it for Carolina, ran into a I don't know how he barely barrel got through everyone. <laughs> I know, that was impressive. <laughs> Gerald ran off our screen. He couldn't. He saved it, but South Florida has the break. They think it's four on four. Now they're turned away and it taken away. Bulls can't get anything going on the offensive end. Gamecock defense, as as I said to begin with, showing out here in the opening part of this first quarter. Now Gamecocks trying to wrap around. Instead, they'll dump it off and. We'll take a second to relax. Try to figure out their next move. Looking to go up three to nothing here at home. Gamecocks like this look. Gets it inside, shot, back. Oh, Gerald just missed it to the right. Only man in the X was a Gamecock, so South Carolina will keep possession here. 6.17 to go. Now behind the back, oh, just missed. A little wide right, Egan, the super senior, the grad senior. 
Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen anyone make a behind the back from that far out. No, that we have been impressive. We saw it in Flora with uh, Ray Gibson, but uh, he was yeah, a little but closer. He was a, lot closer yeah. <laughs> a little, a lot, you know, tomato, tomato. <laughs> uh, the crease and 20 feet away from the crease is a mile away in, when you're doing it behind the back. <laughs> hey, you know, can't, uh, can't hurt to try, right? Yeah, that's right. They do get it across. He actually got a lot of power on it, though. He did. I if it was on target, it may have gone in. It just wasn't even close to on target. Ball out of bounds. So, this side, white ball. Oh, I can't, I can't dip the camera that low. <laughs> oh, good. Gamecock ball. And a quick clear for South Carolina. They'll enter another offensive possession. Again, it's been all South Carolina in around the first nine and a half minutes of this first quarter. Yeah. South Florida cannot control the ball for extended period of time, and if they have, they've, I think it's been one time where they had the penalty and they just lost it. Been a man up. Yeah, almost 10 minutes in, it's time for Egan to score. Well, he wanted to score now, shot left side, but blocked Ooh, partially by LaBelle, or Lambell was the one who shot it, rather. Remedos blocked it for South Florida. Cox are going to get it up top to Lambell. He has one of the two goals. Looked like he wanted to dodge left, couldn't do it. Now coming across, shot wide right. I think it's high. Gamecocks will keep it. So John Gerald all the way up from Maryland, the one who took the shot. The freshman. Been a solid player for South Carolina. Five goals, four assists, nine points in the first six games of the season. Now Egan wanted to shoot. He'll opt to pass and he'll slip. As we said, it's been a little slippery and now looking for the basement shot. Can't get the grounder to roll in. Now, Bulls on the run. But again, they just can't find the offense. Throwing that one away into the X and a great box out for South Carolina as they come up with the ground ball. It was picked up by Anthony Romano. And then the Gamecocks do the work. I think it was a box out by Muriner. And now a penalty. What was that call, Jeff? I didn't quite catch it. Huh? I forgot to ask Luke how he, how he pronounces his last name. Ah, Is it well, Munier? Munier? We'll go with that. I trust you more than I trust Wait, me. Where, where's he from? So Luke is from all the way in, uh, um, hold up, Essex Junction, that's, I'm assuming that's, it's not Virginia, but. Was it say VT? Yeah. Yeah, uh, Vermont. Vermont, there we go. Yeah, so it's, that's how we it's used almost names. definitely Meunier. Meunier, we'll go with that. You see, my pronunciation that's, for that's the. That's close uh, to French Canada. Aha. My pronunciation guide didn't come in the mail yet. <laughs> AKA the, uh, my own That's, interpretation. Hey, hey there's never a bad time to learn. <laughs> it's okay. Bulls moving it around. This has been the longest time they've had. Oh, mm. almost got right in the crease, but he couldn't get the ball to drop. It was a good job getting the ball out, the shot off really quick, but wide anyways. Yeah, Zach Lanique missed wide left, but however, Bulls, as I said earlier, gave chase, so we'll keep it. Aiden MacArthur. Right side. Dorman gives it up. MacArthur over into the X. Now looking right in front. Lanique couldn't get it. The Gamecocks now looking for a clear, and it's going to be a pretty easy one for Mune. And Luke, shoot on the run. Great defensive save from the South Florida Bulls. They play two men in goalie, but that is number eight, Anthony Broderick. They have around the same stats, both both around the 53% save mark on the season. Oh, what a play from <laughs> Russell behind the back. <laughs> That's pretty. Oh. Oh, no, but it's a uh. loss. Can't keep it in. It's Maloney. And Petrush, he'll just kind of, as the ball kind of just helplessly rolled to him, he'll be able to take that one in. Gamecocks now looking to try to clear it. Murano along that right side, right in front of your camera. Puts it in. Now gets it to the right side. Gerald pushes it back into the X to Naughton. 
I like when they're faster. But you get a really good sense of how fast these guys are. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of hard to explain. Just I feel like how athletic lacrosse players are. Yeah. You know, it's one of the things that was I more and more have started to watch a lot more lacrosse. That they have just physical feats that I just don't understand. Yeah. I mean, I I've never been able to figure that out. Wrap around. Oh, oh, granny goal. Meyer. I think it was Meyer. It may have been number 55, Donald Ryan. I couldn't catch if it was 55 or 92. I think it was Meyer's shot. Hey, your roster is on the screen. <laughs> What's up? Your your roster is getting on the stream. Oh, it is? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you can just see how big the Gamecock. I mean, yeah, you can yeah, see yeah. the people over there. But it's a, there's around 47 players for the South Carolina lacrosse roster. Uh, we got uh, 115 left in the first. Uh, there you go, Jeff. It's been uh, a while. <laughs> well, I didn't know if it was on the stream I, or not. So. It's it's faint. Okay. I'm not sure if it's okay, I can up. update more then. Don't worry. <laughs> I'll be able to um fix that camera um or fix the the, the framing of the clock. Yeah, we'll we'll fix it at the end of the first quarter yeah. so we have the one minute mark in it. Around fifty seconds left, Gamecocks rolling around, probably waiting for the last shot, would you say Jeff? Yeah, might as well. Is there a flag down? No. No. Ryan giving it back up top. Moving the ball well. South Florida defense not going to allow penetration quite yet. Tilden's going to dodge right. Looking for space. He'll have to just run to the X. Now, wide open shot from Gerald. No, we're going to say hit the post. Roderick able to count that one as a save for him. And the, now South Florida has 10 seconds left. Try to make some noise here at the end of the first quarter. Ooh, hard slap. No flag come out. Uh, got stick. Now shot at the buzzer. No, they're not going to get it off. Okay. The Gamecocks survive the 2-0 lead. They'll bring that one into the second quarter. So goals from Naughton and a goal from who was it again? Think. Um, I mean, I'm I'm losing. Unfortunately, you don't have a lot. I need, I know I'm failing. I'm failing. Oh, dang it! <laughs> it was who's the attack? Um, no, it wasn't an attack. Lumbell, I think, was it? Yeah, 16. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, wait. wait was it? Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I it think was, it's a little it was, it was. It was. It was definitely a teen number. Teen. Um, all right, so I'm going to re... All right, the, the stream will look a little weird. I'm going to go ahead and switch to music, and we'll be right back. Okay, so the the clock is in the bottom left corner. I'll I'll get it over the scoreboard later. Next oh. dead ball. Procedure against Gamecocks. Yeah, AJ Galliotos. Procedure. So it's a win for South Florida's Jacob Magrid. Ooh, and then. From oh, he almost threw it away. I think I'm thinking Hagrid, but Hagrid's not playing today. <laughs> not Quidditch. Well, Gamecocks was a dominated first quarter. South Florida. Looking to try to do anything on offense. It was a very slow part of the field for them last time as it was really dominated by South Carolina's time on the offensive possession. Only two goals for the Gamecocks. Then 
really weren't able to capitalize. See if this second quarter gets any differently. South Florida's defense gave up double digit goals around 10 and a half per game. And there's a great defensive hit, and another hit all the way to the deck. Ball's flying everywhere, ref with his hand up in the background. It's gonna be a foul on the Gamecocks. I'm gonna assume that's gonna go against Charlie King. Yeah, it's just a little loose ball push though, just possession. And there's worse fouls to get, but it looked like he came in and decked a man in green towards the middle of that scrum. Well, South Florida gets a redo, and we'll get one more shot. Minute into this second quarter. I don't know when even shots have been on goal, but it can't be more than around two to three for South Florida. Now coming to the midside, shot looks like an underhanded shot that goes to the back. And they're not gonna, they're gonna say it's not even a shot. McGrad, I'm gonna say he just missed it completely, so South Carolina will get the possession and try to clear it and <laughs> right on cue, get it across the midfield line. And now, ooh, great play by Gerald, saving it from what looked like certain out of bounds. Just put a stick out and the ball found the net. That's JG, right? Yeah. Didn't you you met, met his dad or something after the first game? It was by JG? Yeah. You got to tell me these things, Jeff. <laughs> Ooh, clear shot right side way high for South Carolina. Looks like it sailed on Rittenmeyer. So with South Florida again in the goal. They've run two goalies, Anthony Broderick in the goal right now. Looking for mm. a wraparound. I rudely interrupted. Blocked by Ro Roderick. Now shot right side. They're going to give it to Roderick. So right as I highlight him, Anthony Broderick. Couple, I think it was three saves back to back to back. Last game against the uh, with the win against East, East Carolina, he had saved eight of ten shots. He has a 59% save rating for the Bulls in the net this year. So Bulls riding the hot hand. They're getting their second win of the year against the Pirates. Now look at a chance in the. Offensive side of possession. See if they oh. can do anything. Looks like personnel switching in and out for both teams. South Florida allowing men to rush on and off. And the key man right there is Andrew Dorman in attack. He's that far right right now. Tommy Truzzi has got the ball. Being defended and a great defense from Tony Spano. However, that ball's gonna be over and back. Gamecocks will have possession. And here comes the quick attack. It's four on three. Can South Carolina capitalize? Instead, they set the offense up, retreat. Looked like they had numbers, but instead opting to put the right personnel out there and looking to make this a 3-0 game. We saw Broderick was absolutely a stone wall in the last chance the Gamecocks had. We'll see if they can crack his code and make this a 3-0 game here in the second quarter. Dodging right. Lumbell, he already has one. Dumps it into the X. Now right in front of the goal. Shot, great defense from Broderick. Stonewall, Egan, leading scorer for the Gamecocks. Can't find the back of the net. South Florida, they've had a hard time clearing it. And this time it's deflected. And picked up behind the back pass up ahead, and there's a flag. Be a shot in the right in the crease. Got another <laughs> defense by Broderick on the rebound. He scores. Dude, good work. Is it 24? Yeah, Jack Parkin on the follow-up. Wow. <laughs> Parkin played at your, one of your favorite schools, Jeff Wando. Oh yeah. Yeah, we, we actually know. didn't play them. Uh, they, them. They're they're my um, favorite. Uh, Mount Pleasant School, because... Yeah, they're a lacrosse powerhouse <laughs> in the state of South Carolina for those who are from other parts of the country. Right now, there's... They've yet to add the point on the board from Parkin. If it does stand, it is his first goal of the season. Yeah. All right. Waiting to hear official ruling. It's a hit to the head. Two minutes. Locked in. 
Yeah. All right, so so it is a, a new rule this year. The, it used to be, oh, geez, like unsportsmanlike were locked in. Actually, it might it might have already been a rule in college. Um, it's new to high school, where contact to the head is a locked in penalty. I wasn't able to see who it's on. They've yet to add the goal for parking on this. Court. There it is. Yeah. I was wondering what was taking Sorry. him so long. I, I, I put it on the stream. So. Oh, well. well. I mean, obviously, I mean, you know, then we're good. Yeah. So Coleman Glazer will be doing face-off duties for South Carolina now. They let Galitos try to do it. And right on cue, South Florida takes it. McGrad. McGrad was 13-1 and one in the circle for the Bulls in the win against East Carolina. Now grounder, ooh, misplayed. South Carolina has it, and they're gonna have the four on three break. Running the other way to the right side, dodging, left side, no shot. Now wrap around, off the left, can't find the back of the net, is not in, looking for number two. Not a chance for him, I guess. And now trying to clear it. Great defense from South Carolina. McGrad can't clear it. And there's Johnny Stanton. South Carolina has it. That's Parkey, he scored his first goal just moments ago live on Definite Fiction. And maybe Parkin's first goal of his career, only a sophomore. And there's Johnny Stanton, one of the captains for South Carolina. Now it's a shot straight away and right in the mitt of Broderick. He's been stellar in the goal in the first quarter and a third for South Florida. And they'll try to look to break as they haven't been able to do so successfully around a third of the time. And now they get it passed. And South Florida still man down. Gonna keep it in. Those, ooh, thrown away. Misplayed from South Florida's Jackson Payton, the freshman. Couldn't get his net on it. Bulls, not sure when they got into the great state of South Carolina, but a 480 mile drive from Tampa. Maybe a little jet lag. They play Manhattan tomorrow at uh, 1 o'clock? No, New, uh, Hampshire, New Hampshire. New Hampshire. New Hampshire. <clears throat> Excuse me, wrong Northern School. And then the Gamecocks play New Hampshire on Monday, but uh, we'll be at Flora. Ah, tough break. Stanton looking, trying to bounce that one in over the net. Broderick's going to give chase, but South Carolina keeps possession. Dead sprint by J.G. Now Rittenmeyer, got it up top. To the right, that's Stanton. South Carolina, yet to make a dodge yet. Now getting into the X. Those offsides. Ooh, shot. Put goal. They're gonna count it, yeah they are. Beautiful placement, beautiful move. Donald Ryan, the senior. Not his first one of the game. South Carolina with about 8.50 to go in the second quarter. Lead it 4 to nothing. And that's Donald's seventh goal of the year. Had one in the loss to Liberty in their last game. It's hard to, it's kind of weird to bring in these last game stats considering the last game happened <laughs> yeah, like, weeks, yeah, yeah. like three weeks ago in February. I mean, we're now in the middle of March, rolling along close to March Madness. What a great time to be a sports fan. South Carolina, I think they've yet to win a faceoff. They continue that trend right there. McGrad wins it again for the Bulls. And South Florida calling their play out, looking to, trying to break through. They're down four to nothing here at Bojangles Stadium to the ninth ranked team in the MCLA. The defense for South Carolina has been stellar. Not allowed a clean look for South Florida, and there's a flag, late flag, or eh, kind of late. It'll work, so. It'll be a penalty on South Carolina. Carson Healy will be the one flagged for it. Right now we play on. Still can't get close to the goal. South Florida just it's not been able to find their offensive stride yet. Yes, good, good defense played. 
South Carolina team will see them in the playoffs. Oh, now a shot, but Petrush. Ooh, maybe it was knocked down before it got to Petrush. And now. Was there another fight? No. No, it was, that was just the delayed okay. penalty. It was just delayed for that long. Yeah, just that pull. Right, let me see if I can get it. So it was on Healy. All right, well, I wasn't able to catch to see how long it was on, Jeff. Did you see how long? He, I think he's a minute. Uh, it should be a minute for a slash. According, according to Johnny Stanton. All right. All right, for now, I'm just leaving the <laughs> clock in the corner for the stream. Um, <laughs> it actually doesn't look that bad down there. I can't see it from my angle. So oh, it looks so good. Okay, the there we yeah. go. Yeah. So every now and then it, uh, the screen goes black where the um, the clock is, and it's because people are walking in front of it. Um, Unfortunately, it's Un unavoidable. <laughs> yeah. For the stream, we can't figure that one out. Second man up opportunity for South Florida. There's a block in goal from South Carolina. Is that Petrush? I think it's Petrush. I can't okay. tell. He hasn't flashed me his number in a while, but I don't, I don't think it's Petrush anymore. Yeah, I don't, I don't, it didn't look like it. he's no. smaller than Petrush. I think they must have made a change, but I haven't seen the number. Fighting forward on that far sideline, and two flags fly. Oh. Uh, Maybe on South Carolina yet again. And now he's covering up his number? Yeah, he's uh, doing his he doing? <laughs> hardest <laughs> job to make sure I can't see it from the angle I have. 13. 13 for South Carolina. I can do something with that. That's Colm Flynn. Yeah, that was a good save. I think Colm's played in a game so far this year. Hasn't got much game time, though, so his numbers are kind of skewed. That's why I didn't really include him in tonight. But Colm has some experience this season. Gamecocks now down two. South Florida, it's a massive opportunity to try to get one back here against South Carolina. Yet to fire a shot or a shot at Flim. Ooh, high ball! It's gonna get across. It's gonna be over and back. Ooh, that's a hmm. So South Carolina with, with a man in the box or a man down, and now now they blow it into play. South Carolina trying to move quickly. Looks to be a shot left side. Got it. Oh my, Romano strikes, and South Carolina pounces on the Bulls. It's five to nothing. I think you could tell my surprise in my voice, Jeff. Did you think he was gonna pull yeah, from no, there? Yeah, no, that was quick rip. Romano got around to the attack zone, said, I'll just take a shot, and puts it home in the back of the net. South Carolina, five to nothing lead, 6.35 to go on that bottom left of your screen. Which is right now black because yeah, there are players black. in front of it. Well, it's, it's the referee in front of it exactly. right now. Exactly. McGrad, <laughs> yet to lose a face-off for South Florida. Gamecocks have been mixing in people left and right right now. They've been mixing really two. That's Galiotos, excuse me. And right there, McGrad takes it. Ooh, well... South Florida mm. able to use their man advantage, try to box the Gamecocks out. Loose, Loose ball push. push against South Carolina. We'll give possession to the team in green in the South Florida Bulls. So when a man up opportunity, or two man up opportunities rather, South Florida doesn't give up, doesn't get a goal, but they surrender a goal. Not the, uh, not the pace they were looking for here as the second quarter gets into the back half. Now a shot wrap around. Oh, I didn't even see it go in. Wrap around from Ian Zern. And South Florida gets on the board right as I was talking about the shortcomings. Yeah. Zern scores number 13 on the year for him. Against my better judgment, I'm going to show that highlight again. That was nice. I mean, that was a nice wrap around. And he, such a low ball, I think it was kind of masked and Flynn wasn't able to really see it. South Florida mm -hmm. answers the rip from Romano just like that. It's five to one here at Bojangles Stadium, but face-off will go back to even play for both sides. Over McGrid, or McGrad, excuse me. Hasn't lost a face-off. Still yet to do so as he picks that one up. Oh, falling down. Able to get that away. South Florida got to make a mad dash for it, and they got it. Game of momentum could be a big spot here for the Bulls. Now rip shot wide. No, it scored. I didn't think that got Ooh. in. Back to back go the Bulls. This time it's Nicholas Cox. 
I didn't think that got by, that got by Flim. Yeah, I have to show the replay again just because I need to see what happened. I just didn't. It looked like, because I thought it hit by left. Oh, that's the last one, I think. No, no, it's oh. right here. Oh, it is? Yeah. I just, huh. I just didn't think that got slotted. South Florida, you blink and you miss it. Back-to-back -back goals, and it's really nice when you trot a man like <laughs> McGrath out. Huh? Um, <laughs> one of the fans are asking Luke. <laughs> <laughs> and McGrath That's wins one it of again. The <laughs> Hey, well, you know, they, they drove all the way from Tampa, you know, they, they can... No, 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 one of our parents. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I, I don't know if... I didn't hear... It's, I don't know if it's Luke's dad or not. But, Sorry, um, I was hearing all the <laughs> all the noise from the Tampa side, not the no. uh, Gamecock side. I, now... I think it was. <laughs> shot. Or not a shot, but ball's way cleared. And the X fighting for it. A couple of jerseys each, and eventually it ends up by South Carolina. Ooh, ball's in the dirt. Big ground ball picked up, though, by Healy. Carson will clear it for South Carolina. So we'll see if the Gamecocks can respond after two goals from South Florida. Just as quick as they went up five to nothing. They're now only up by three. This game sat at two nothing for pretty much the entire first quarter. Looked like South Carolina's gonna run away with it. The Bulls come stomping back. And now a dodge left. Now Lambelle will turn away. Looked like he was going to take that all the way to the hole. Instead, misses it. Now Stanton almost loses and said he'll take it in. Well, as on cue, he passes up. Ball in the middle, Lumbell. And he'll get it out. Gamecocks, we have no idea the shot clock. I think someone said around 20 seconds left. It's to our right and covered up. It's in front of our vision, which meaning I'm seeing the back of the shot clock, which doesn't help me. Now Egan, now into the 10th second, thrown away from South Carolina, empty possession for the home team. And the Bulls would love to pull a massive upset here. Hey, hey. Now, I, I, I'm just saying they would. They would. They would love to. Well, it's still a long way to go from that, but they score here. You cannot deny the momentum is completely on the team from Florida. However, they lose it almost immediately, the Gamecocks Going to run with it. Well, just as quickly as I said momentum, South Carolina switches it right back. Now looks to be a shot right at Broderick, who blocks it, God, puts it out hurt. of bounds. Yeah, that's not going to feel good. That was a beautiful rip by Rittenmeyer. I think it went off the it's knee like of Broderick. Knee. Yeesh. You know, I think the, the biggest misconception I had about lacrosse coming in was I thought they had pads. They don't have pads. No. There, there's no padding. They have chest pads. You have, you have a helmet. I mean, that, yeah. that's cool. But, um, I mean, if, if a ball goes at your, like, leg or knee, it's, it's not fun. Oh, beautiful run in the box. Shot bouncing just misses. Mm. Game cost give chase Casey Hurley. But I thought it was going to be a clean rip there from Ryan. Instead, he bounces one over the net. Gamecock, Stanton, he'll fire wide left. Out of the back. South Carolina has the only man back there. It's Mayer. First quarter's winding down. Under three minutes to go. South Carolina led five to nothing. South Florida scored two back to back within the finish, like 10 seconds. Oh, had the back door, but couldn't get the connection to go. South Florida. Sire relief from their sideline. And they'll try, it. they will clear it, rather. I couldn't catch who was on that backside for South Carolina, but if it went into his net, it was a for sure score. You gotta think he just went a little too quickly with it. So both these teams are in the same conference, however, they're not in the same region. South Carolina playing in the north half of the SL, the SELC, South Florida. Uh, is their name possessed in the south half? And it's a stolen from South Carolina. They're going to have numbers. It's five on three. Into the middle. Shot. Goal. Right on cue. Beautiful ball movement from the Gamecocks. Gives Tate Snittow 
a goal, and it's a good goal. It looked like I thought the official may have thrown a flag. He said, nope. South Carolina slots it in, and they lead it 6-2. to two. Under two to go here in the first half. Yeah, good goal. That is Snitto's first goal of the time season. Out, time out, South Carolina. Gamecocks use their first time out of this game. As maybe there's a way to try to attack McGrad, but he's been phenomenal in the face off, Jeff. What do you think you need to do to take one away from him? Uh, I guess you got to get the clamp. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, thanks. I love the uh, using you for the expert analysis for just uh, just a snapback of like, yeah, I mean, just, right. I mean, how do you Excuse score? I mean, just put the ball in the yeah, net, yeah. you know. I mean, sim simple enough, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I guess I do need to crop down this clock. Just a little bit. Um, we're we're almost done with the first half and hey, I'm you've still been, getting set up. Hey, it's all hey, you've been tweaking it the whole night. It's, it looks good, Jeff. Yeah, I want to put it on top of the score regular. You know, I want to say though, if uh, you did happen to catch the first stream we did here, I mentioned that we had a fun game, in uh, for AC Flora High School playing against the number one team in the state. Well, we won, and potentially one of the greatest games I had a chance to call. Wait, which one? The uh, Richu game. Oh, yeah, Remember that was it was right before that. I think you have it as an unlisted stream now, so I was going to say you can watch oh, it. Oh, I can. Yeah, I need to make that public again. But, uh, yeah, 1.6 thousand views, which is really good for some high school basketball. That Ridgeview team ended up actually winning state in South Carolina. So. Oh, Ridgeview did one state? Yeah, Ridgeview won state. Jeez. <laughs> I, I, probably, I probably should have known that. So South Carolina, hey, it's okay. My uh, friend texted me. He's like, he's like, you didn't, he's like, he's like, you didn't really know enough about the uh, Ridgeview coach. And I was like, thanks, man. That's I was like, you're watching my stuff. Like Josh Daly? Like, yeah. Well, I mean, like, I was like, I remember, I, like, I started the stream and I was like, I didn't, I didn't realize he like. That he was title. our coach. No, I knew he was our coach. I didn't know he won a state title for our. Yeah. He's like, you didn't know that, and I was like, I was like, you just picked up my like my one like problem with the stream. He's like, hey, you know. Yeah. I'm watching it from beginning to end, and I was like, ah, yeah, thanks. He he also led the Orangeburg girls to state championship. And he, has, and he just led the uh, Ridgeview boys state championship. A lot of contact, no hit flag, and oh well, never mind. There is loose ball push, I guess, or some sort of violation giving South Florida possession. It looks like they're gonna give him a clear, uh, free clear there. South Florida. Looked at they had momentum, scored back-to-back -back against South Carolina, but since then, it's been the Gamecocks dominating and a timeout hmm. right on cue from the Bulls with 1.37 to go. 6-2 to two lead for South Carolina and in the whites and now Florida in their patented gold and green uniforms. One of the, I think a great color concept for a college team that no one really uses. Green Wait, and gold? Which? Yeah. Uh, I think it's cool. I mean, the only team you can kind of say is Colorado Notre Dame. State. Uh, I guess Colorado State uses it. You're right. But Notre Dame's like the only team that, like, major team that uses it, but they really don't bring out the green uniforms. They don't yeah. break out the green uniforms for, like, what, once every Navy couple blue? of years. Yeah. So, no, I, I, I personally like the, com the color combination. It was, for whatever reason, when I was, like, a younger kid, I actually liked the school of South Florida. I don't know why. Yeah. I just like playing with them in NCAA, you know, for whatever reason that may be. <laughs> but, you know, it was a... I don't, for whatever reason, I gravitated towards South Florida, so it's kind of cool calling a South Florida game, you know, kind of yeah, yeah. seeing my childhood come to fruition in a way. Yeah, um, we're watching the Gamecocks. Well, no, we're also <laughs> watching South Florida. Don't be <laughs> wrong. I go to school here, Jeff. <laughs> I know, I know. Unfortunately, hey, there's, not much, there's, there's not much hype to talk about the Gamecocks. I, went, I, uh, I we went to school here for what, nine and a half years. Now you're a lawyer. Yeah, I got a that's bunch on, of degrees. That's on you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going for four. Uh -huh. I graduate in two months, so you know. Oh, nice. Hey. Yeah. But. Uh, where's the ball? No, you here. see, there's unfortunately there's not much to talk about South Carolina this week after the. Uh, you know, I was gonna talk about the game yesterday, but uh, the game today kind of nulls that all out. Yeah. Tough that's one. True. Tough one for the men's basketball team. That's right. But they they're going dancing, so that's a, that's yeah. a lot more than I think a lot of people for in this Columbia area thought was gonna happen this year. Well, we'll see if South Florida can try to get one back. It's a loose ball, though, along that far sideline. Yeah, I think like pretty much if we face anyone other than Auburn, we'll be all right. Just, uh, if you want the <laughs> and out, my uh, like analytical answer, if yeah. we got to, if we play, if we play like a team that can like score a lot and it's really fast-paced moving, we may be in trouble. There's your uh, yeah. for those who are joining us from the uh, 
lower part of the country, aka Florida. If you want to do some just some research on South Carolina, there you go. Oh, that got wow. in. I think Stanton was uh, trying to pass. That's why I didn't call it. Okay. <laughs> uh, goal from Johnny amazing. Stanton. Whoa. Yeah. Well, there you go. Huh. I, I think me and Jeff are lost yeah, your words. Yeah, we're going to have to uh, – let, let me show that replay. <laughs> Johnny Stanton, goal number seven for the captain at attack. And I mean, you, I mean, you'll ask him, he'll be like, yeah, I meant to do that. But uh, – Yeah, 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 no, for I mean, sure it was a shot. meant to do that. But, uh, <laughs> Pass on goal. <laughs> Counts as a goal. Well, for the third man, the Gamecocks about to throw at McGrath here tonight in the circle, and it's number 44, Carson Healy. We're exactly at the minute mark. I mean, the glare of the scoreboard. It's hard to see, but McGrad, ball on the dirt. Being batted around by the, by the sticks. And the Gamecocks win their first faceoff of the evening. Luke Meunier with the ground ball. Beautiful ground ball from Meunier. Meunier. Give it to Healy. Comes in his first faceoff of the night and wins. Gamecocks have one more chance to stretch this lead. 7-2 to right now. It's tied for their largest lead of the game. Right now, Stanton moving inside. I thought he wanted to rip one straight ahead and instead. Passes that one around. Around 20 seconds here. Dodging right, Lumbell. Oh. oh, shot. Oh, wide. Gamecocks will keep it. They'll have last shot here with like 15 seconds to go. Into the X shot. Hurley can't get it to drop. Roderick with the ball and he's getting chased outside scary moment for the goalie and he loses it loses the head of his stick oh is Hurley uh oh Gamecox has it three seconds to go quick shot here Egan who ought to take it he's gonna shoot it got it oh wow. buzzer beater from Egan uh put it in the penthouse Broderick wasn't aware and they're gonna count it to go Gamecox at the buzzer oh wow I wasn't six. ready for that. <laughs> I wasn't ready either. It's like three goals. There was like, wait, what? Got he ready for anything? <laughs> Connor Egan. Oh man. The team leading goal for him. That's number 17 for Egan. And the Gamecocks go up eight to two to end that first half. A six-goal uh, <laughs> run and around three in the last two minutes for South Carolina. Yeah, I guess momentum is back, right? We, you, you, you told me. Yeah, I, I remember the best thing. The best advice I think you told me was. Simply, you looked at me. I said, "What's what can you talk about lacrosse? Like, what do I need to know?" And you said, yeah. "It's a momentum-driven sport." Oh yeah. You just saw it right there. Jeez. Wait, I need to see that again. One more time. For the one time, I mean, you were. I mean, I had to be ready to call up, but Egan just. Gee, he, I mean, he ripped it. Yeah. Left side and. Wow. Put it home. South Carolina firmly in control. Yeah, I guess. South Florida. Egan didn't want to let a half go by without a score <laughs> goal. I mean, mean, he was he's at what is he averaging? He's averaging around a little over uh, two goals a half. So he has 16 that. goals. There's, yeah. Wait, what? 16 goals, that. 12 halves. This is half number 13. So yeah. He has, Wait, how many? He had 16. Goal, he had 16. He had uh, 12 games. So there's two halves. 12 games or uh, six games six times games. two is 12. Yeah, so, so we're four, halves. And four and two. Yeah, so he's a little. Okay. Yeah, little little over two little over two goals a half, and yeah, he just uh, added to that goal total, makes yeah. it number one seven. Oh yeah, the 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 other game that we the, that I did was um, Florida. So Florida, Florida State, and Georgia. There you go. Yeah. we're trying to <laughs> took complete, me a while complete to the sweep that. of the Florida teams. <laughs> um, okay, we're gonna uh, play some royalty free music, and we will be back shortly.
right, time to get started with the second half. Alex is on his way back. All right, face off. Good face off battle. <laughs> That was exciting. <laughs> hey, we're back. It was like an earthquake. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're we're on scaffolding, talking to stream. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's it's fairly stable, but I mean, you know, it's 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 it, not. It you know, holds the weight. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah. uh, I don't feel like we're gonna fall. No, I'm not worried we're gonna fall. But once we shake, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of. Once rough. we uh, when, when one of us climbs up, it's uh, not a, not a fun experience for the other. Yeah. Well, South Florida looking to. That was a good save. Uh, new goalie, I think. New goalie. I, well, we'll tell you who it I is. I want to say that's number, number one. one. Yeah, it is number one. That's Drew Gregory, the sophomore for the Cox. Now Stanton looking. Oh. Great block from Broderick. Got out of bounds. South Carolina returns. Possession. But one of the cool things I actually did, <laughs> as I was over there, I did get to hear the end of the South Florida halftime speech. And oh, yeah. I, I think there's a simple message. They said, let's show them who USF is. So we're going to see right now who USF is. I think for South Florida, they're going to try to come out, let it, try to light a fire under them. But Gamecocks will try to extinguish it and pick up win number five on the season for them. Gamecocks running all the way around. Shot. It, it, no, it didn't get in. Good block from Bodrick. But a ground ball picked up from South Carolina. Yeah, it's been a really good first season for Dakota Christian Downs. It has been a great season for the new head coach. And four and two with a win over, at a time, the top five team in Georgia. However, they have fallen to the bounds of unranked. They are number 26. If you're, oh, man. Yeah. And, ooh, balls on the ground. Stanton barreling a man over and able to pick it up, though, for the Gamecocks. Long clearing right into the hands of South Carolina. Don't think that's what he's looking for when he's trying to clear it. Uh, but he found the knit of Henry Maloney. Gamecocks now will just, I mean, it, it's been so just, South Florida does like one thing right and then they'll just snowball into a thing that's bad and yeah. they just can't get out of their own way half of this game. And South Carolina really started taking advantage of that towards the end of the first half. Three goals in the last, last two-ish minutes. We'll see if they can continue that stretch right there. Broderick, he was solid to start the game. It's been a rough patch for him as of late. Oh, diving goal. That one sails <laughs> maybe close to the street. They're not even going to call that a shot on goal. Uh, not what you're looking for for South Carolina and JG. But the Bulls will... Look now to try to clear it successfully this time instead of throwing it right to Henry Maloney for South Carolina. Close at it. And running into trouble. Triple team over the half line. And it will be a ground ball. No, it was picked up and then immediately lost from South Florida. Russell can't get it. Ball's bouncing closer and closer to the goal, but South Carolina comes away with the ground ball. Thomas DeLuca. And now on a break. Tilden. Over to the right side, Sh no shot, JG. No, it's not JG, excuse me, that's Luke King. Or not King, Charlie no. King. No. No, it? Alex no. Gerald. No, John, no, it was JG, I was right. 71, right? Yeah, yeah. JG, excuse me. 81's Charlie King, that's yeah. on me. I see, I give myself a break like once a half because the roster is about yeah. 50 slides long, so. Well, Charlie King's LSM, he has a long pole. Aha. <laughs> well, you see. Oh, we're going to give the chase to Broderick. South Florida I only know him. that because I know the King family. So. Didn't, they play at, didn't you play at Florida before I went to Blue Ridge? Uh, yeah, he did. And his brother, William, did. William's up at um, St. Joe's now. And his parents are here. It's unfortunate. In fact, his parents are about 25 feet to the left of us. That's unfortunate. Going to St. Joe's is just not a fun place to go. 
It's D1 lacrosse. It's awesome. <laughs> it's, um, oh, you mean, oh, you just said Oh, 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 St. Joe's, like the college. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not St. Joe's school. Oh, shot right side. Beautiful save. One shot on goal. Oh, one not, save for Juke. Not the high school. Juke Gregory, Virginia. yes. Sorry, no, Sorry I'm so used to, I'm used to South Carolina, my y'all. There's uh, a. St. Joseph's of yes, Philadelphia. The uh, actual college that is yeah, in yeah. the um, Big East in basketball. Yeah. That upset Seton Hall in the first round of the year, their first game of the Big East tournament. You got some knowledge you didn't know you're getting tonight, Jeff. Yeah. I know you care a lot about the Big East tournament. I, I'm surprised you haven't given me an update on Ohio State. Do you want an update? I have figured I'd, I figured I I'd relieve so. the stream, considering uh, um, just, it's a very ooh. close game. Well, oh, they they, weren't, they hadn't touched in. He actually very could have gone back. Go, uh, over and back. Oh, it's not no, close they, anymore. Wait. Oh, maybe. In the good way. Hold on. Oh, maybe they did get a touch because they're not trying to get a touch. Oh, that's weird. So explain to the viewers what just happened because I actually know what happened. Well, so I was thinking that oh. that they hadn't gotten a touch, so you can go over and back. But he um, got a touch. But I don't know what the over and back rule is. They look like it would have been he would have been in back back court back court back nice. field. Oh, Stanton went looking to feed him close to the crease. Instead, it goes over the head and we'll give South Florida the ball and a empty empty fast break for South Carolina. Oh, they're gonna. Uh, where's the ball over the far side? Here? Yeah, we we're calling over and back, which made me kind of question what was going on. But I guess they're saying don't go over and back or something. I don't. Yeah. Really, exactly no. But McGrad has it. The face-off specialist, who's been solid for South Florida this whole season. What about Jacob McGrad? He's a red-shirt junior again, face-off specialist, and one of the best players for this South Florida team. Is a second team All SELC. Project was a third team on SELC. There's a little dig on him, but McGrad, again, been the best, probably one of the better players with two goals, one assist, and get this, 36 ground balls picked up for South Florida. He has a 94 and 30 faceoff record. He's been probably one of the best players for this Bulls team. Oh, diving, did that get in? Wow. Yes, it did. Hyping up McGrad, South Florida, strikes first in the third quarter. Hmm. Looks like that was Ian Zern. The sophomore from Jupiter, Florida, on the diving attempt. Oh my word! That must have like hit off the goalie. I can't can't imagine he had an angle from that spot. Well, get get a face-off uh, specialist like McGrad see. in there. See if he can do it. I think South Carolina sending out. I think that's AJ. Uh, thirty-four. Yeah, and AJ loses it to McGrad, and here comes South Florida. They're down by five. They've been down by five three times tonight. One time they brought it down to three. The other time they went up to six. And here we are for the third time. We'll see if the Bulls can right or wrong. It looks like he tripped. Russell, there he goes, picks his pocket. There's the All-American throwing it up. Oh, right in stride, right side now. Back to the other left. Stanton shoots. Ooh, fastball back to the, back to the Barnes. Teddy Russell does a great job of just letting the man get up and then when he's not expecting him he, to slap, hits the stick and takes the ball. Yeah, I'm sort of thinking that they would have called a um, withholding penalty because the ball was under the guy. But hey, how it happens. I want to say Snitto with a great snag around midfield. I thought Teddy may have overthrown him by a bit, but Snitto, a jump catch, like a wide receiver. Lumbell right side, dodging toward the middle. Shot, deflected in, out in the back. <laughs> what a dodge. Cox give chase Connor Egan. That was a great dodge. <laughs> it's like, it's, I mean, it's hard for me not to compare it to like a running back when you sit there and make them juke out like three yes. people. But, yeah. I mean, geez, you put men on some skates, or I guess some skis if like they were in the water, I guess. Oh, on the ground. Ground ball picked up from South Florida. A lot of hits in the middle, but the Bulls eventually come away with it. Looks like Jack Lenz will clear it, and here comes South Florida. Gets it in the middle, oh, looked like they had it. But the Gamecocks take one away. I thought they're gonna have the backdoor shot to Dylan Bonin. The Gamecocks take it away. Romano, over to JG. 
Aramano back up top to the main man of this Gamecock attack, Egan. And 7 4 and Gamecocks call their first timeout of the second half. They lead it 8-3, but the only score here in the third quarter has been by South Florida on a diving attempt, mind you, by yeah. Ian Zern. Yeah, that's the last um, highlight I have saved, but I'm not going to show their highlight twice. <laughs> Once is enough. <laughs> um, I mean, that was it was a beautiful dive. I mean, I'll give him credit. That was a great goal. I'm not sure how how it snuck past Gregory. Oh, you know what? I think the um the battery on the camera is dead. Oh. For the clock. All right. Well, it looks like I'll be going into full play play wait, announcer wait, mode on. and giving you guys the um, no no. no I got oh. This. oh, never mind. Jeff's gonna go fix it during the timeout. I don't think you can. Sorry, I'm talking to Jeff. Jeff uh, just said, I think I can reach the camera, and we are on scaffolding. I feel like trying, well, as you can probably see on the stream, is causing an earthquake. <laughs> as I said, Jeff, you cannot reach it. Down goes the extra hotspot. While Jeff tries to fix the camera, uh, just thank you guys for joining us. It's a lot of fun here on Definite Fiction, which has been the home of the South Carolina Lacrosse here in 2024. Gamecocks looking to go back to the national championship. They're 2-2 two and two in those appearances, one in 2019 and 2022. And now here comes Earthquake Part 2 as Jeff's about to climb up the scaffolding and try to move maneuver past me. It's not a... I know, it's not a... Uh, it's not a like a lot of area, but it's definitely, um, <laughs> Jeff's hyping himself up without the headset. Yeah. Pretty agile. Oh man, I'm so good. <laughs> <laughs> Way to be humble. Yeah, everybody should get me to stream. Uh, where's the hey, ball? Best streamer in South Carolina. 100%. Best um, quality, for sure. Yeah, I'm just waiting for the day that, um, Somebody does a, a one production um, live streaming sports challenge, sports live streaming challenge. And you win. Yeah. I mean, I still don't, I still couldn't tell you how you, I mean, just how well you compared to everyone else. Gamecocks get it Ooh. inside. Looks like it's a mis miscommunication. Goes to the back. Referee going to say it's a shot. I, know, I thought it was a pass, but we'll take it nonetheless. Oh, never mind. They award the ball to South Florida, as I thought. Looks like they're going to give it to us, and then they just decide to say, nah, we'll uh, let South Florida try to try to clear, which has gone poorly, as you see right there. South Carolina has it. JG at right side. Instead of trying to push the tempo, he'll slow it up, let the offense get in position, mainly let... Harry Carswell drag or jog on. Now JG dodging. Instead, he opts to pass. I think he was going to rip one center. South Carolina looking around. Got in the middle. Shot. Did he get it in? A flag comes out late, but a goal for the Gamecocks. Their first one of the second half. I couldn't see uh, who it not, was. 71. 71. That's JG. Yeah, good goal. Uh, Jeff has He's a better idea of the camp. Diving in. I don't have a spotter over here, so you know it's kind of <laughs> I am your spotter. <laughs> You're my spotter, yeah. Well, uh, JG, there's a foul late. I'm just gonna, it was, it was on it the off. push into, yeah. the into the crease. Well, Gamecocks stretch that lead back out to their largest lead of the game with six goals. It's 9-3 to three here at Bojangles Stadium. Beautiful Williams Bryce. And not in our backdrop, but in my backdrop. Looking to... Fortunately, we'll get, a, we'll get another chance to be in that student section again, but, you know, it's a lot. Oh. It's, you can sneak in. Eh, eh, we shouldn't say that on stream. Oh. <laughs> I, That's all right. I don't, I don't have a camera on you. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um. huh? Oh. Did they give us the goal? Yeah, they gave us the goal. Oh, we uh, get possession so for the, the loose ball. For you the get possession. possession, yeah, for the, the push. Is it, is it a middle penalty? It's no, no. It's, it's there should be no penalty. Egan shot bouncing off of Broderick. It's saved. Well, there's a man in the box over there. Oh, is there? Yeah, he's uh, huh. right in front. That's no, why right in front of the 
That's why the camera. That's why oh, the. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. So, so yeah. I, I don't, I'm not sure what the penalty was then. It may have been us, unnecessary roughness. Okay. Either way, Brodrick saves it. And South Florida doing their best uh, impersonation to try to get it across. Oh, and Egan doing yeah. the dirty work. He steals it. Case Klein Whoa. couldn't get up. And there's the whistle. Ooh. Huh. Now, South Florida slipping on the ice. And it just, it, for those just joining us, it drained here in the middle of the day here in the Midlands of Columbia, South Carolina. So, field's a little slick. As you can maybe tell, this field isn't exactly the best kept of the South Carolina facilities. I call it, I think a loose ball push on South Carolina. Uh, oh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. I thought he had the ball, though. All right. <laughs> well... No, not not the best kept up field of the uh, Carolinas. It is a uh, these are an mural field actually. Yeah. Well, part of them. So either way, uh, the rain and grass don't mix together it's, on this it's field. It's a it's a home field advantage kind of field. Correct. Yeah. Which is good for us and not good for the team from Tampa. Yeah. They probably have beautiful grass down there. Hey, I can't. I mean, I was I came from Destin last week. I was on our spring break, and it's kind of funny. I. I looked at my uncle because he's from California. No, a little weird, but I was like, I was like, so where do kids out there go to spring break? Because you don't just go to California <laughs> for spring break. And he's like, well, they go to Mexico. Yeah. So my question now is, where do kids from Florida go to spring break? Do they also go to Mexico, <laughs> or do they just go to different parts of Florida? <laughs> that's 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 that's, that's uh, there's my question for the Pan Tampa people if you're out there. there. Wait, these are kids going to school in Florida? Yeah, so they're South uh, Florida. They go so back home to New Jersey. What are you talking about? <laughs> 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 Obviously, how did I forget? Oh, slipping on the field. Oh, he keeps the ball impressive. Oh, man. <laughs> I, I, I would imagine like South Florida fans who are watching this would, would appreciate that joke. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, coming to dodge in the middle, having a shot. Ooh, and opts to pass to the left side. I thought he could have a opening to rip, but instead he opts to not pass. It's even up and a bouncer right. Easy one for Gregory to handle. And looks like South Florida cannot capitalize on the opportunity. Instead, Gamecock's going the other way. Gordon, looks like you, again, I keep thinking these teams are going to push the tempo, but instead they back off and let the offense get settled. So I was going to say the time, but the referee's right in my vision to block the camera. Oh, he's, yeah, he's blocking mine. <laughs> he's uh, doing a perfect job of blocking. I think we're at the three-minute mark. There we go. I thought it was four, but it was the three. Yes, it's okay, three. So, three minutes left to go in the third quarter. South Carolina gets one again. Spinning, scoring. South Carolina stretches the lead. Donald Ryan for number two on the night. It's a 10 to three lead here in Columbia. <laughs> I zoomed in just before the shot. Yeah. I was like, wait, I'm way zoomed out. <laughs> Donald Ryan scores his second for South Carolina. They lead 10 to three. It's their largest lead of the game here against the visiting USF Bulls. Scored the last two goals, but McGrath continues to win these faceoffs against South Carolina as he's getting pounded. From raining sticks from this Gamecock midfield and defensive squad. Eventually gets it down and thrown away. South Florida cannot get out of their own way on the offensive side. Every time you think they have something going, they either throw it to South Carolina or they throw it out of bounds. It's been a tough task for this team to get their feet under them and shown right there. Easy clear to Teddy. Little Step back over the half half line. Gamecocks will get another chance to continue to increase the lead here against South Florida. Two minute mark here in the third quarter. It's a beautiful night in Columbia. Mid 60s, light breeze. This is spring weather I think everyone in this state has been waiting for. You can tell the players are having a lot of fun, especially the South Carolina sky. Now, Trying to dodge to the right, taken away and stolen 
from the Bulls. I think that was Nicholas Cox there on the defense. South Florida has 90 seconds and a clear to Cox. He's on the run and he loses it. Teddy can't pick the ground ball up. Gamecocks Ooh, tripped trip. and delayed penalty. Gamecocks will take that in. Gets it back to Gregory and South Carolina now looking to clear here. It's Kobe Morales, first time calling his name. Passes up to clear and a off, offside for called on the home Gamecocks. So USF will have 70 seconds to try to put one in the net. Another lost ball, McGrath this time, not one you thought would do it. And now the ground ball still. And bodies hit the deck. No flag, spin thrown yet. Ooh, good hit there from South Carolina. And Snitto does all the work there on the end of it. Taps it to himself up ahead and completes the clear. And the Gamecocks have 40 seconds to go in this quarter. South Carolina looking to try to get win number five here in the season. Trying to bounce back from two losses. You know they've been thinking about them for all that close to a month. Now wraparound shot deflected and did it get deflected into the goal? No way. Oh, it did. Oh, wow. Garswell. How about them apples? Uh, yeah. Referee signal good goal. <laughs> I think we're all in shock. Wait, wait. No, they're oh, saying they're no. Say no goal. Carson, that would have been his first goal of the season. He's played all six games yet to find the net. Instead, they have seven seconds left for UCF, and he's getting pummeled. There's a flag that may oh. be technical, and that ball's going to go out of bounds, but that's the third hmm. quarter. So a pummeling taken there from South Florida's Thomas Shetty. The cross check call. So Gamecocks will start the man in the box in the fourth quarter, but after an early goal from South Florida to start the third quarter, South Carolina responds with not one, not two, but three goals. I think, or maybe it was two. <laughs> it was two. I maybe think it was, it was eight, eight at half. Eh, close. Potato, eight, two potato, at half? potato, potato. Eight, two Either way, yeah, yeah. outscoring two USF goals. for the third straight quarter, South Carolina, and they are dominating South Florida. Here and again, South Florida, they have a game against New Hampshire tomorrow. South Carolina will meet New Hampshire on Monday, which fortunately may not get to stream, but you never know. Yeah. And it's completely up to Jeff whether he wants to do. I just follow the cameraman. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but it's been that's a lot of fun, yeah. Jeff. Is this so, so talk about this experience. Is this like a dream come true for you, doing Gamecock lacrosse? Yeah, it's, it's cool to have a Gamecock logo on my stream. Yeah. I remember the first, uh, first time we did this. Someone commented, and, and I quote, and I quote, it's a, I think it was like, it's a dream come true. Finally, Definite Fiction's doing Gamecock lacrosse. Yeah. Like. Yeah, I, no, it's, it was pretty cool. I said the same thing when um, Popcorn Chicken went buy one, get one at Publix this week, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, a dream come true. I, I looked at my yeah, manager, I said, I said dreams Joey do come true. <laughs> <laughs> hey, South Florida understands. They also have Publixes down there, you know. It's yeah, yeah. Originated. Yeah. Uh, I guess those really don't know, but I In, do. Uh, it close to um, Tampa, right? Was it like Lakeland? I think it was Lakeland, yeah. Okay. No, but on, no. the, on that side. No, I do, I do part-time. I have part-time job there at Publix. So I try to support myself in college, you know. Yeah. Sometimes sometimes goes well, sometimes it's not. It just depends on the week. I don't have a Publix commercial queued up. I could do a TM Floyd and Company commercial. Uh, you can, unfortunately, they don't want you <laughs> filming there anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. And they're very... I tried to film in there. I'm a journal. I mean, journalism major, obviously. I tried to do a story in there. I'm like, you can't film. And I said, uh, that kind of sucks. Yeah. Well, South Carolina begins with the man in the box for the fourth. Is it a minute, right? Uh, I think so. Yeah, cross no, check. Cross check. So one minute, 15 minutes left to go. South Florida uh, down by seven. It's like they're trying to plug back in. The, um... I'm not sure to delay. Oh, I should like, check and make sure. Looks like everything's going smoothly on their well, side. No, the, it's the shot clock. Aha. Well, N near side is not we plugged can't in. see that. Well, technical difficulties right now. But as you said, New Hampshire on Monday. South Florida also has New Hampshire. Then they both get to 
make the relatively short trips back home, right? Yeah. yeah and we have um, floor lacrosse tomorrow and Monday. Otherwise, we'd be able to show the South Florida New Hampshire game tomorrow and then. Yeah, all day Flora tomorrow. Got the B team at 9, JV at 11, varsity at 1. Mm -hmm. Going along with the uh, St. Patrick's Day festivities in downtown Columbia tomorrow. And then Monday, we return at home. I actually don't know who we play Monday. Uh, it's Christchurch. Oh. Although yeah. Christchurch has been struggling this year. We'll have to. I'll have to look in then probably tonight, I think. And then we got Blythewood, the uh, second best Bengal team in the state of South Carolina. The first being in the upstate, the uh, uh, <laughs> world renowned Brazier Middle College Charter <laughs> yeah, College of here course. in high school. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the world renowned, right? Yeah. Hey, they are also a green, they're yeah. green, black, and white, you know, uh, great, great team colors. I, I got to tell you, though, um, Lucy Beckham will have a word for worth you, too. <laughs> eh. Aren't they the, they're the Bengals, too, right? Oh, I Be mean. Beckham Bengals. Yeah, I mean, they're the third best Bengals team in Columbia, or the South Carolina. That's right. They're, they're, they're allowed to finish yeah, third. I'll, no, I'll support you on that one. Bron bronze is good. You're allowed, you're <laughs> you're allowed to be third. Bron bronze is not a bad spot. We want podium. Yeah, that's right. We did, like, some, like, in my spring break, we did, like, events. We did, like, spike ball, volleyball, like, uh -huh. an Olympic events. And my team got third out of four teams. But it's podium, right? Oh, Whoa. high outside. Ball one. Uh, Slipped like slipped out of the glove as Zern. <laughs> Uh, air, he has a goal tonight. Air, air ball champ from the USC students. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I'm also not sure you wore that a shot. That's about that's about how close I would get if I shot. <laughs> I don't think it. I don't think I could even get it out of my stick if I shot a lacrosse. But uh, you know, maybe maybe, maybe. I, I saw you practice some of the AC yesterday. Over, yeah. You know, on the uh, day off that Richland One gave me and Jeff, we were supposed to have a game last night. Yeah. Again. Ooh, shot. Ooh, great save oh, by yeah. Gregory. Oh, that's not Gregory. Another new goalie there for South Carolina. Using number goalie number five or four. It was Luke Cost Costantino. There we go. Costantino in the goal tonight. South Carolina exhausting the bench, it seems, against the Bulls of South Florida. However, one stag has been right there, and that's the man right in front of us, Teddy. Oh, gets a wide open shot on goal. Flag down. A flag in the back end. So it's taken in by Broderick and a man down far side, I think. That's Romano. The shot was no good by Carson Healy. I think Romano gets up pretty smoothly. Looks like we're dropping some frames. Um, make sure the hot spot's getting act literally hot. Uh, you know, I mean. Um. Should we make sure it's still connected there. I think it's a cross check one minute penalty on South Florida. The game could be a man up till around the 1240 mark. They already have 10 goals on the evening. They average about 11, so they need around one and or two to hit or beat that average. Their highest goal is 16 in a game. They want to push the pace they make and get that. Now shot right side, deflected. Take it in though. Now looking for the wraparound, got it! Derek Jeter S shot. Matthew Meyer puts one home. Gamecocks go up 11 to three while Jeff is fixing the stream. No, no, we're oh, good. Oh, you good? Oh, I thought you were still fixing stuff. Yeah, no, it was just dropping frames, but there's nothing I could do. Um, it stopped dropping frames. <laughs> Freshman all the way from Alexandria, Virginia. <gasps> I'm from Alexandria, Virginia. There you go. Sort of. I was born on Fort <laughs> Belvoir. Uh, so I, I alternate, alter, alternate between climbing Alexandria and Fort Belvoir. You know, my, my favorite my favorite part of the streams, for those who are newer learning, because Jeff knows, like, everybody around the state. <laughs> so, like, I coached him when he was a kid. Yeah. And McGrad wins that one yet again. Oh, but he slips. Ooh. Tough tumble from McGrad. South Florida will go wow. out of bounds. That was a heck of a hustle. Slot. Hustle play does not come to fruition for the Bulls. Andrew Dorman. I'm gonna grab it. South Carolina has that ball. Now. Oh, there's there's no release because oh. there there wasn't possession. Um, nice on the faceoff. Yeah. South Carolina has it yet again, looking to go up by nine. 
and this is their largest lead of the game. It's 11 to three. It's a lead by eight here at home. Well, barring a massive collapse, the Gamecocks will have avenged their last two losses, the number seven and the number four team in the MCLA. And they will get back in the win column here against South Florida and look to continue that stretch against New Hampshire. And closely after that, South Carolina inches closer to region play as they end the year. Right now, though, can't take your eyes off South Florida. Crazier things have happened in sports. A eight-point comeback. And around 12 minutes will be do it. But there <laughs> it is. Back to back for Meyer. Does the exact same thing, comes along that left side of the goal, over the shoulder on the right, and buries it. Gamecocks continue to climb the ladder as they inch closer and closer to that 16 point mark they set yeah, good goal. back in Feb early February. So in the uh, spirit of South Carolina, putting about every person they possibly can against McGrath, in steps Ashton Reich, the sophomore from, I think that's the printer's a little fuzzy, but Bayside, New York. Hmm. The defensive mid. See if Reich can be the second man to beat McGrad tonight. And he is not. McGrad has another faceoff win. I don't have the numbers on that, but I mean, it's got to be around 15 tonight. Right side shot. Uh, gonna give yeah. chase. Yeah, it's pretty remarkable that we're leading 12 to three, uh, given how good their faceoff guy's been. McGrath's been phenomenal tonight. I think he's won around 15 to 17-ish faceoffs. Yeah. My, if my math is around right. Uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah. But I mean, it's just they just unfortunately for I me mean, for South Florida they just can't get anything going on offense. It feels like every time. Yeah. It's quite fortunate. I mean, for, for the Gamecock <laughs> faithful, yes, it is. For the people from Tampa, it is not. Well, dodging left. Gamecocks instead turn him away. He spins back right. Going to fire a slow grounder. We deflected by Cosentino. I think that may be Cosentino's first and or second save. Or, no, it's like his third, I think. But no, either I think, way. I think that hit a defender. Oh, it did? I, mean, I thought I, I got, got all the way to him. Oop, giving chase. Out of bounds. Germano. Oh. Gets the ground ball. Now in the back, Costantino got decked in the X. No flag hmm. as Kobe Morales gets it to Teddy. And Teddy Russell, captain to captain to Stanton. Back up top to Gordon. Over to Tilden. Gamecocks letting personnel um, in and out, trying to find the right set of players to go up double digits. Colin Jung. Said he dumps it off to Tilden. Dodging right, looking back over the middle. It's lit up in the middle. That's Jack McQuaid. The Gamecocks now trying to stop the clear, and they successfully do. Ball ends up. Now Meyer. Back over the middle. Jung. He'll fire. Bounces. Goal. Oh, Colin Jung, ladies and gentlemen. The freshman from Pennsylvania. Puts goal number 13 on the board tonight for South Carolina. And his sixth goal of the season. Good night to be a Gamecock fan. They look sharp off of the multi-week break that this lacrosse team has taken. They're looking to bring this momentum for the rest of the season. And hopefully have been to a playoff run. Procedure and it's gonna be on McGrad. Ooh. So there's a win for Reich. And Could have been a delay penalty, but. Reich is the second person tonight to beat McGrad. So, in an unfamiliar uh, place that we're in, South Carolina has the possession off a of faceoff. Game 
Gamecocks. They've exhausting the bench. A lot of players' numbers here that usually are not being called, but, you know, looking for a couple of goals. Uh, kind of jumpstart their lacrosse careers here at South Carolina. Right side, ball gets poked away from behind. Lost and picked up by the Bulls. Now back pedal and they'll get it to Broderick. He'll get it to McGrath up front who kicks it. Ball on the turf. Stan picks up the ball. He has a free shot at the goal. Bought it and it's good. Johnny Stanton takes advantage of the McGrath misplay. And South Carolina goes up by 11. It's 14 to three. Four goals in the first six minutes of this fourth quarter. <laughs> Did they catch it on the stream, you think? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't the parent just so. said, take the ball and score. I'm tired of waiting. Yeah. So you can wait until tomorrow. <laughs> My grad. Reich. Reich's giving McGrad some fits, and he wins back to back. What a two showing from Reich. He's not the normal face-off man. However, he's won the last two against probably the best player on this USF roster here tonight, or at least been playing so far tonight. Yeah, definitely best performing tonight. Now dodging left. Instead, he'll jump it off to the captain. Ball goes out of bounds back. South Carolina has the only one back there. It's Matthew Meyer. And the man from Alexandria, Virginia, will take it out in the X. Looking to wrap around. Meyer looking again. Great save by Broderick. Nets it, flips it up. Oh, nice one-handed snag from the Bulls. And a nice couple of clears. It's Jack Lenz who gets to cross the timeline and McQuad loses it yet again but a good hit for, from or excuse me to McGrad. McGrad puts a good hit on the freshman Kyle Anthony and able to get Lenz the ball to keep it. And a slip and a timeout for USF we're around the 7.45 mark if my eyes don't deceive me from the small numbers all the way across the screen. South Carolina up by 11. Double digit lead. They, it looked kind of interesting in the middle of that second quarter. USF had two goals back to back to cut the lead from to five to two. Since then, if you can do the math with me. Hey, check this out. Nine, one run. We'll, we'll be right, after, right back after this uh, TM Floyd commercial break. There you go. Running your business day in and day out doesn't leave much time to manage your technology. When IT expertise is in short supply, rely on the professionals at TM Floyd & Company. We've stayed on the leading edge of innovative technological change since 1976, helping companies navigate each new advancement to improve how they operate. Our consulting team helps to develop and implement strategies that align your technology with your business goals, and our experts transform everyday IT into indispensable tools for tremendous growth. We find the IT talent necessary to help you achieve your technology objectives and offer the resources your company needs to overcome any challenge. Let us be your guide. Stop searching and start growing. Get in touch with TM. All right, sorry, I had to cut the um, commercial short. Well, I guess the, I don't have to apologize to the stream. They would rather me cut the commercial short. <laughs> they'd rather watch the. Uh, <laughs> they'd rather watch this game than watch TM Floyd. However, yeah, yeah, we, any uh, new grads in the Columbia area want to work at TM Floyd? This company Jeff Rose works at. Just hit them up, and yeah, he will get you involved. Now, South Florida, trying to get one back here. Haven't scored since the opening minutes of that third quarter. It's been all Gamecocks. It was Zern who a falling down shot, which I still can't believe got in. Almost the last time USF found the back of the net. Now up in front, gets deflected, and a hard hit was oh. taken. 
Looks like he's hurt and Got down. Got his teammate with the shot. I think that was Zern yet again, if I'm not mistaken. Um. So, um, so one of my kids, um, posted great broadcast thanks from, oh, from, from that, that was you. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. I, I couldn't tell which one it was. Well, I, I said it to you earlier. I'm like, did you post great broadcast? No, it was either. Well, it could have been any of the three of the boys. Right, well, looks like he's all right. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was Ian Zern was the one who took the body shot. Gamecocks will have possession. Looks to be that near side for South Carolina. Or nope, never mind. Well, it is near side. Oh, good ground ball. Number 11. Bra Braden Smith. Oh, this Braden? Yeah. Oh, nice. AC floor. Big ups. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not know this Braden? I didn't know what number he was. <laughs> <laughs> what a. Uh, oh, I know. I looked it up. I just forgot about it. He's Jeff. Come on, streamer of the year has got to be got to be aware of the AC floor grads. I know. The ones that he made famous. Shot, ripped around, out of bounds, goes high. Meyer gives chase. It was a shot by Frederick Clark, the redshirt freshman from Cleveland, Ohio. Mm. Yeah, it came up from the Midwest, coming down to the southeast. It's the home of my TM oh. Floyd and Company co-worker, Rob Rudusky. And he makes him fall, gets a shot, and another liner to the backstop. Shout out to Rob Rudusky. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to I'm sure he's watching. I'll, 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 I'll get him to look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Just show him the clip. Yeah. Actually, if he was watching, he would we flip know. out. <laughs> Meyer trying to wrap around. He's done three times tonight. Instead gets turned away from the Bulls defense. Now the other side. He may have a shot. Instead he flips it way high for Stanton. Ball gets crossed the halfway. And over and back call. Ooh. Wide pass there for the Bulls. Aiden MacArthur. He'll be all right, though. He's running that back with against Griffin Gaspar. MacArthur beats him. Now a wraparound shot. Great save. Costantino eats that one up, and the Gamecocks are on the run. Thrown up. Ball tipped left side. Picked up by Meyer. Meyer will slow the tempo down. Now that left side, Gamecocks. Ooh, almost <laughs> thrown away. The Cleveland, Ohio native grabs it. Now that right side. Andrew Palma was working. He'll get it back into the X. Meyer almost hit Stanton in stride and said it's a ground ball. Picked up. Oh, it's picked up. No, it is picked up by South Florida. Couldn't tell who was running with it, but Lenz got it. Now, we're under the 430 mark, about 410 left to go in this game. Carolina up by 11. Well, South Carolina's going to improve to 5 and 2 on the season. South Florida drops to 2 and 6. Both teams' next game happens to be against New Hampshire. Again, South Florida will play them tomorrow, and South Carolina will play them on Monday, leaving the St. Patrick's Day Sunday open for both teams, which kind of sucks for South Florida. You can't see a green play on St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Speaking of which, you show up to green tomorrow for the Flora stream? Uh, wait, who are we playing? Uh, Blythewood. Blythewood. Oh, shot? Oh, yeah, no. Shot we're also right. B team's playing uh, River Bluff. Oh. They're green. So no. So no. 100% no. <laughs> in fact, we're going to kick out anyone who shows up in green. That's <laughs> maybe a bit extreme. But yeah, hey, okay. you never know. <laughs> Defense is really locked down for South Carolina. And 
Thomas DeLuca. Ooh, thrown not away. DeLuca, excuse me. Thrown away by Jackson Payton, the freshman. Not oh, yeah, DeLuca. just over three minutes. Yeah. And an easy clear up for the Gamecocks. Henry Maloney, slow that tempo down. Get it back to Palma. So up top, another name we haven't called tonight, Kyle Anthony just passed the Palma to a high ball to Stanton. Stanton with that right knee brace on, trying to get to the middle. Instead, he dumps it off right near the crease. It's going to be picked up by Broderick. He's going to run with it. Dangerous plays there for Broderick, but he wants to go all the way. He eventually dumps it off to the right. <laughs> I thought Broderick was going to try to take it all the way to the net. Mm -hmm. Instead, he hits Schmidt. Man ran to the box. Ops not to throw it to him. About two minutes left to go in action. Now running around over the middle. Shot. Got it. Huh. Into the net. I, it's a light blur. I couldn't see it. But a goal is a goal. And that's for Aiden MacArthur. So running Florida. your business oh, oops, day in. I forgot to uncue the team vlog commercial. I think, that's, I think that's Jake Schmidt, exactly. Excuse me. There we go. I couldn't tell us MacArthur or Schmidt. But I think it's, well. Oh, yeah, I can't see on the. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's MacArthur. We're going to go with MacArthur, which I think who it is. MacArthur, that's his seventh goal of the season. His first one tonight against the Gamecocks. It's 14 to 4, 150 to go. And McGrad ends his two games, or two face off slide in well you're supposed to win it but the ground ball is picked up by the Gamecocks on that far side still everyone's slipping and sliding here 90 seconds left South Carolina has it they lose it though gets into the hands of Broderick looking for some freedom way hot shot to lens gets over his head to MacArthur MacArthur has to run nope. that one down in the X, and he does. Over the middle, shot, and a bad angle. I think it didn't even touch the net. It goes wide left. Schmidt couldn't get that one down. But they're going to call it a shot on goal. Give the Bulls the possession on that far sideline with exactly one minute to go. Near side, Shetty. Wait, what? I said near side to Shetty. Like Shetty. His name's uh, Sh name Shetty. S H E S H E T T Y. Oh, wow. Shetty. And that ball's thrown away from South Florida. Gamecocks will have it for the final 33 seconds. They can clear it. And an easy clear for South Carolina. That's Reed Parker right there, the junior, who lost it. Picked up by Broderick, thrown all the way up. Schmidt having to run that one down. He can't beat him to it, though. Gamecocks, Colby Morales gets to it first. Goes out of bounds on him. Schmidt running in, and that will do it. Gamecocks win this one 14 to four here at Bojangles Stadium. They down South Florida with a six goal third or second quarter and ended with four this quarter. Uh, second, third quarter, third quarter? Uh, no, it was, a, it was a fourth quarter. Four goal no, fourth quarter. Was four, four goal fourth quarter. Yeah. I think we scored two, two, we two, scored in, two, the, in, the two in the third. Yeah. yeah. Scored two in the first, six in the second, yeah. two in the third, and four in the fourth. Awesome. I like wins. I like wins too. Yeah. Gamecocks are now five and two. Continue to climb that rung. Number nine team in MCLA. Take on New Hampshire on Monday. As we said multiple times, South Florida is taking on New Hampshire tomorrow. But if you want to see me and Jeff or want to hear my voice again and want to watch yeah. a phenomenal stream from Definite Fiction, tune in tomorrow around one o'clock. 
we have AC Floor Lacrosse varsity, or you can tune in all day before that. They play. Yeah. Jeff's actually going to be coaching B Team Tons, Lacrosse. Ton, yeah, I'll be on stream. Jeff will be on stream. <laughs> you get to see Jeff in his natural element of coaching. Yeah. He's coaching the B Team Lacrosse team and the JV team, which 30 minutes after that, varsity is 30 minutes after that. So tentative yeah. 11 in one. Um, yeah. AC Floor High School, which is a high school in the Midlands of South Carolina, will play Blythewood, another high school in the Midlands of South Carolina, and some great lacrosse. And hopefully, AC Floor can find the win column again and try yeah. to get back to 500 as we enter, uh, we uh, draw close to region play. Yeah. And for so Gamecock lacrosse, so we won't be here on Monday. Um, I think I think the G Gamecock GSTV will be here. SGTV. SG SGTV. Student Gamecock yep. television? Okay. There you go. Um, I think they'll be here Monday. Uh, and then um, I'm not sure. There's one more home game, I think, before playoffs. Yes, it is March 30th. March 30th, okay. Which we actually have nothing on that day, so Excellent. it's a Saturday. Well, a Saturday? Yep. Perfect. Saturday we have nothing, because that is right before the spring break for you guys. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Excellent. So I'll have to make right. the trip to Greenville and then back down here. To so, uh, wait, did you have the their schedule up? No, I did not. Do you want me oh. to pull it up? Yeah, I was kind of wondering about that um, Clemson. Yeah, give me one second here. Let me uh, let me go. Let me go find us. That Clemson game, I think it's unfortunately just a really bad time for us because we yeah I think we play someone, but we pull, so after New Hampshire we go to Tuscaloosa, Alabama. That's next. That is in a uh, that's next Friday. So the boys will have to miss some phenomenal March Madness. We play Vanderbilt, Georgia Tech, which is the last home game. That's Saturday, March 30th. And then Thursday, April 11th, we go to Clemson, which is in Seneca, South Carolina. So wait, what day was that? It is uh, Thursday, April 11th. We have a home baseball game that day. Okay. And yeah, Thursday's kind of tough to go up to Seneca. To, yeah. We talked about it a little bit. Yeah, you yeah. said you really didn't want to trip yeah, that so just that day, and it's it was like a Saturday, Sunday, yeah, Saturday afternoon or something maybe. Uh, but yeah, no, we'll do baseball. All right, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, we will see you either tomorrow or next Gamecock game. Yeah. All right.